Hello everyone and welcome here in Belgium where it is raining really hard now. It's gray and dark outside and I'm smiling because I actually like this kind of weather, certainly in late spring or summer and it's really raining really hard. So we call that in Dutch het regent pepenstelen and I wouldn't know how to translate that, but that's to that it is doing outside. So I'm sitting here in front of the Fritz that I shouldn't be playing, it's touching even, but yeah. There it is. Judith was working whole day yesterday, again on the damping system, and that's now really state of the art. And what that means, I will explain in future videos. It's a complex uh, thing to explain, actually. So the whole piano is becoming wonderful. And in connection, so uh, together with the Fritz, with the Frenzel there, which is a later, a little bit later type, but it's amazing to see how different these pianos are and actually how complementary they are for the work of Beethoven and other composers of that time. It's a really luxurious situation that I have right now and actually totally unexpected since the Frenzel, you all know that, was donated by me, uh, by Lorenz Guardian to me. So uh, in a waitings for the Fritz to be finished. And so now we have the situation with three instruments. The clavichord still in the center, center of my heart, I must say. Every time I play on the clavichord, it feels like coming home. As beautiful as these pianofortes are. But for Beethoven, one needs a pianoforte and that will be an exciting project to uh, working on the coming years, this Beethoven project. So what I actually wanted to, uh, to talk with you today, and we got this possibility because yesterday's video was uploaded on Tuesday instead of Wednesday, so I missed just by clicking the date on the schedule system on YouTube, but that doesn't matter. It gives me the opportunity to share with you my plans for the coming months, and you know, uh, YouTube season for me is from September till June, working uh, the entire summer, of course, uh, giving you some content, some new videos. But I have some announcements to do in relationship with YouTube, but also in relationship to the work that we have done this year. So a lot of time on YouTube went actually to the reconstruction, so to say, of the whole beat practice, metronome practice. And that was something that for me for a long time, since 2017, you all know the story with the Mozart Munich Sonata, I've told it a lot of times. Exactly at that time, Lorenz came to visit us. He spends a week or a few days holiday every year here. He's a good friend of ours. So everything came together in a way that I saw actually light in this practice that I was you know, following a kind of before you will, you can, you can, you can listen to my older videos on Beethoven and Mozart, and you will see that it's not exactly what we could call today whole beat. So I evolved into well accepting this practice and also in supporting his work, Lorenz's work, in finding the truths and reconstructing the context also for the, from a uh, from a practical standpoint and just by just playing that music and and so the channel last year was focused a lot on that issue and I was so happy with the Donnell source and we'll bring more of those in the future but the Donnell source and if you haven't seen it I will link it here in the info card provided I think a lot of you that's at least the feedback that I received a lot of you with a kind of practical tangible information that where you have one source in fact, describing the whole beat practice in a very simple way. And of course, people will be, there will be people who will be rejecting that as kind of evidence, but that doesn't matter. It's a fact, what is written there is a fact, and to many of you, and in fact also a little bit to me, this is a source that we can use if people ask what is this whole beat practice about, Actually, it is enough to just point to the Danelle video, or we made two videos on that, and that's it. So, in fact, you could say the season of YouTube around mainly focused on tempo research came to a whole, whole bit, came to a whole, and now it's time to move on. Now, I will not abandon YouTube, of course not. Spent also a lot of time in uploading videos, daily videos for the, for the past months, in fact, challenging the algorithm a little bit as well. But there are so many things 
so many stories to be told to you and to share it with you. But now we come to a point, I think it's time to move on and to uh, take on some projects that are longer term projects than the, than the weekly or the daily videos that we are making on YouTube. And so part of those projects are working on the, on the book with Lorenz. It will not be a translation of the book he wrote in 2010 and it's published at Kat Spiegler's um, editing so publishing house. We will not translate that. We will expand it and we will transform the way we present this tempo practice to the general public, also outside, of course, our authentic sound community. So that's a work of... That, that just... I need time for that, to write a good content you know, index, so that the titles and the subtitles, everything is there and opens people's minds instead of closing it. Also, it must be a very practical book in which that you can have on your ch shelf and just as a musician grab it regularly to look up some information. So I'm working, I have to dedicate some time on that on the book and every day I have to do that for the coming months. The Mozart Tempo Guide is another project that's actually, I'm working on that, but not enough. So those two projects are, for the coming months, important to me, next to practicing and preparing the Beethoven project, project as well, of course. And then another project, of course, important, but it won't take so much time, is the release of the Bach Partitas. So the six keyboard partitas we recorded those on clavichord early 2017 it was actually a big project at the time for those of you who are new here now or just joined the last year or the last months you might want to check them out just type in on, on the home page of my youtube channel Bach Partitas and you'll find a lot of videos the recording sessions are there live recorded practicing sessions so but that dates from way back so 2016 2017 i was working a lot on the bach partitas those recordings of course were ready in february 2017 but then we decided to have the pachelbel first as a kind of tryout recording um, and the, but now we are ready to launch them the booklet is is what holds us back a little bit originally planned we plan to release the bach partitas in june but that will be for september on cd and digital download and streaming only for the moment but then we move on making them available on disc so vinyl disc as well i'll announce that over the summer months more than you actually would wish for i think so and for youtube this will have the consequence that i will not be putting out daily videos anymore for the coming months so monday wednesday and friday will be the overall spots on youtube days on youtube then where you can expect some uh, videos or live streams but from time to time i will be missing one of those i can promise you that it will not happen a lot but just by giving me the the room or the possibility to skip once in a while one of those days it frees also a little bit of room in my head because the youtube schedule is necessary it keeps me on track it keeps me practicing it it, it, it youtube has been and will always be a kind of stimulator for diving into subjects into detail that otherwise perhaps you wouldn't or i wouldn't be diving into as detailed as such or as much as i would do for youtube it has been always a wonderful platform it will be a wonderful platform but it's also a time consuming platform and so i'm freeing time a little bit for that concerning the practicing sessions i will have practicing sessions live or pre-recorded every two weeks so i cut them back a lot on those and there are two main reasons for that the practicing sessions will partly move to the Patreon page. So that's a decision I think I need to make. But there is also an algorithm thing on YouTube. And that sounds weird, but it's important. So I have contact with people on YouTube who know are knowledgeable about YouTube. And they all say to me, uh, live streams are hurting your, the channels right now. Two years ago was a big thing. You couldn't live stream enough. Today it's a little bit holding back your channel because of watch time, audience retention, click to reach you, and it's really complex. So just now, by skipping the live stream of last Monday, I hadn't time to pre record the session and I hadn't time to live stream. Um, I saw a bump on my channel today. It's weird. But live streaming is important to me because, and also to you, I know there's a community coming together 
and I'll be and I'm interacting with you in a way more direct way than I can do through the comment section. So we'll keep that, but we'll cut back a little bit in the number of practicing uh, sessions that we have. We'll see how this evolves. So if you if you don't want to miss those live streams, I've repeated and I will repeat it. And again, hit that subscribe button, but also the bell icon and set your notifications. So that's the best way to be notified. And for the premieres, you actually get a notification, I think 30 minutes in advance as well. So that's a longer video than I expected to make, but I think it's an announcement that I had to make also to give you a kind of overview of what I'm working on and what will going on will be going on on YouTube, and you know for the things I'm working on, if you'd like to support those through Patreon, that's awesome. It's really the community on Patreon is what drives me, and it is amazing. If you have you have constantly more than eighty people now on Patreon for months, some people are just leaving, which is very much understandable after years of support. Other people are coming. We are, of course, aiming at 100 subs uh, subscribers actually on, on Patreon. That would be awesome. But now we are over 80 for such a long time. Imagine that 80 people are actually pushing you, also financially supporting you for the work that you're doing. It's a great signal for me. And it's really a signal that drives me and to continue to do what we are doing. So if you see a little bit more less videos in the summertime, don't worry, I will be working on the things that we are actually uh, concerned about, all of us in this authentic sound community, which is really something that I say that now, authentic sound community, but that's what we have. And we are all belonging to that community, even the people who are actually commenting on the channel against the whole beat practice. That's actually not a problem. They are part of the community as well. I can see it in the, in the way also they respond, also they actually involve actively in the videos that I upload and right after I upload them. So no matter where you stand in this journey of reconstruction it's a community and i think once you realize that it's actually a powerful something it's it's amazing actually so thank you for that and looking forward to meeting you whether it be on youtube during the live streams on patreon the patreon hangout i'm really happy you are here with me on this journey so see you soon again